Now let's divide using short division. For these questions on the left, we're dividing by 3. So we've got the 3 times table to help us. We start by taking the first digit, and that's a 5. So we're looking for a number in the 3 times table that's 5 or less. So we need to choose 1 times 3 because 2 times 3 is 6, and that would be too many. So, because we've chosen 1 times 3, we have 1 in our answer line, but 1 times 3 is 3, and we're dividing 5. Now, 5 is 2 more than 3. 3, if we count on 2, we get to 5, and that tells us that our remainder is 2. So now, when we go to the next digit, we have a 2 in front of it. So we need to do 28 divided by 3. So we're looking for a number in the 3 times table, which is 28 or less. Well, 9 times 3 is 27. And because it's 9 times 3, the 9 goes in our answer line. But... 9 times 3 is only 27, and we're dividing 28. To get to 28, we need to count on 1 from 27, so 1 is our remainder, because 27 plus 1 is 28. So on to the next digit, we have a 6, but there's a 1 in front of it, so we need to do 16 divided by 3. So, we're looking for a number in the 3 times table, which is 16 or less. So, 5 times 3 is 15. That's the closest we can get to 16. And because 5 times 3 is 15, 5 goes in our answer line. But because 5 times 3 is 15, we need one more to get to 16. So, that one more is our remainder. So 5 times 3 is 15, plus 1 gets us our 16. So now we have 12 divided by 3. Now 12 is in the 3 times table. It's exactly 4 times 3. So 4 is the last digit of our answer. And because it's exactly 12, we don't have a remainder. So our answer is 1,954. Now what you could do here is pause the video and see if you can do this question on the right. That's 9,864 divided by 4. So remember, because you're dividing by 4, you'll need the 4 times table to help you. We'll come to this in a moment, but for now, I'm going to move down to this question here. Now, this is a little bit dif different. If we look at the first digit, we have a 1, which is less than 3. So, there's two different things that we could do here. Either we could spot 0 times 3 is 0, so we could write 0 in our answer line, and then 1 as our remainder, but... When the first digit is less than the divisor, what I like to do is take the first two digits together. So we're dividing 11 by 3. So we need a number in the 3 times table which is 11 or less. So we need the closest number which is less than 11. So that's 9 which is 3 times 3. So, because 3 times 3 is 9, 3 goes in our answer. And notice where I'm writing the 3. Because we took the first two digits together, I'm writing it above the second digit this time, not the first digit. But 3 times 3 is 9, and we have 11. Now, to get from 11, to get to 11 from 9, we need to count on 2, or add 2. So that 2 is our remainder. So 3 times 3 is 9, plus 2 is 11. 
So 11 divided by 3 is 3 remainder 2. Now onto our next digit we have the remainder 2 in front of it. So we have 24 divided by 3. So we need to look for a number in the 3 times table which is as close to 24 as possible but not more than 24. Well 24 is in the 3 times table. That's exactly 8 times 3. So we have 8 in our answer line and this time we don't have any remainder. We don't have anything to write here because 24 is in the 3 times table. So we don't have a remainder, we just go straight on to our next digit. So that's 6 divided by 3. Again, we've got a number that's in the 3 times table. 2 times 3 is 6, so 2 goes in our answer line. We don't have any remainder, we don't have any more digits to divide, so our answer is 382. Now, you might want to pause the video and try this question here. I will come back to these questions at the end, but for now, I'm going to do 7803 divided by 3. Well, if we take the first digit, we have 7 divided by 3. So we're looking for a number in the 3 times table, which is as close to 7 as possible, but not more than 7. That's 6, and 2 times 3 is 6, so 2 goes in our answer line, but 2 times 3 is only 6, and we have 7. So to get from 7, to get to 7 from 6, we need one more. So that one more is our remainder. So 2 times 3 is 6, plus 1 is 7. So now onto the next digit, we have 18 divided by 3. Well, 18 is in the 3 times table. That's exactly 6 times 3. So we can write 6 in our answer line and we don't have any remainder because if we're dividing by a number that's in the times table, like it is here, we don't have a remainder, so we just move straight on to the next digit. Now we have 0 divided by 3. Well, 0 times 3 is 0, which means that we need 0 in our answer line. And we don't have any remainder, because 0 times 3 is exactly 0. So we just move straight on to the next digit. 3 divided by 3. Well, of course, 3 is in the 3 times table, and because that's 1 times 3, we write 1 in our answer line. We don't have any remainder, we don't have any more digits to divide, so our answer is 2601. You might want to pause the video here and try this question because now I'm going to go through these three questions so that you can see how you did. Taking the first digit, we have 9 divided by 4. So we need a number in the 4 times table which is 9 or as close to 9 as possible, but not more than 9. We have 8 here, and that's 2 times 4, so we write 2 in our answer line. But 2 times 4 is 8, and we have 9. 9 is 1 more than 8, so we need a remainder of 1. Now we have 18 divided by 4, now the closest number to 18, which is not more than 18, is 16. And that's 4 times 4, so we write 4 in our answer line. But 4 times 4 is only 16. To get to 18, we need to count on 2, or add 2. So that 2 is our remainder, which we write in front of the next digit. So now we have 26 divided by 4. 
So we're looking for a number as close to 26 as possible, but not more than 26. So we're looking at 24. That's 6 times 4, so we write 6 in our answer line, but 6 times 4 is only 24, and we're dividing 26. Now 26 is 2 more than 24, so that 2 is our remainder. Now onto the last digit, we have our 2 remainder in front of it, so that's 24 divided by 4. Now 24 is in the 4 times table, that's exactly 6 times 4, so we have 6 in our answer line, and because 6 times 4 is exactly 24, exactly the number that we're dividing by, we don't have any, um, we don't have any remainder, so our answer is 2,466. Now, 3,188 divided by 4. Well, if we look at the first digit, we have a 3, and 3 is less than 4. So there's two different things that we could do here. We could do 0 up here, and then remainder 3, or to save time when the first digit is less than the number we're dividing by, we can take the first two digits together. So we have 31 divided by 4. So we need to look at our 4 times table. And we're looking for a number that is as close to 31 as possible, but not more than 31. So that's 28. And because 7 times 4 is 28, we write 7 in our answer line. And because we were dividing the 31, we're writing the 7 not above the first digit, but above the second digit. But 7 times 4 is only 28, and we have 31. Now, if we add 3 to 28, we get to 31, so 3 is our remainder. So... 7 times 4 is 28, plus 3 is 31. So we can move on to our next digit. We have 38 divided by 4. Now, 9 times 4 is 36, and that's the closest number we can get to 38, which is still less than 38. And because 9 times 4 is 36, we write 9 in our answer line. But 9 times 4 is 36, and we need 38. So to get to 38 from 36, we need to count on 2. So that 2 is our remainder. So now, 28 divided by 4. Well, 28 is in the 4 times table. That's exactly 7 times 4, so 7 is the last digit of our answer. So that's 797. Now 4212 divided by 4. If we take the first digit, we have 4 divided by 4. Well, 4 is in the 4 times table. That's exactly 1 times 4. So we write this 1 in our answer line. And because 1 times 4 is exactly 4, exactly the digit that we were dividing by, we don't have any remainder. So we can just go straight on to our next digit and divide 2 by 4. Well, 0 times 4 is 0, so... We can't use 4 because that's more than 2, so we need 0 times 4, so 0 in our answer line, but we have a remainder of 2, because obviously to get to 2 from 0, we need 2 more. Now, 21 divided by 4, so we're looking for a number in the 4 times table, 
that's as close to 21 as possible, but not more than 21. That's 20, which is, it, which is 5 times 4. So, because it's 5 times 4, 5 goes in our answer line, but 5 times 4 is only 20, and we have 21. To get to 21 from 20, we have one more. We count on 1, so that 1 is our remainder. So finally, we have 12 divided by 4. 12 is in the 4 times table, and that's exactly 3 times 4, so 3 is the last digit of our answer. 1053.